Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Pythalista and today I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step how to deploy a fast API app in Azure Web App. I'm here on my Linux terminal in Windows. It's a WSL terminal. So the prerequisites here is uh, all the commands are gonna be in Linux. Uh, you need to have Python installed on your machine. In my case, I have Python 3.11. Also, you need to have a Azure subscription and also a GitHub account. So let's go for the steps. First, create a folder. I'm going to CD into that directory. Open VS Code. On the VS Code terminal, I'm going to create a virtual environment. Activate it, upgrade pip, missing a dash. Now, install Fast API requirements, installation, just get that. Save. To install, you just do a pip install dash r requirements once the requirements are installed create a main.py file just create the basic fast api hello world app to run a server to test locally you just type fast api dev and then the main file so this just run on dev so if you wanted to run that in production so to run in production you have the same thing but instead of dev you just put run that's it this is already running the default v unicorn server so it's running Let's create a web app in Azure. So in Azure, you see, if you don't find web app, you can search here, but in me, for me, it's showing here in the first page. Just put create, pick your subscription. I'm gonna create a new resource group. I'm gonna call it Fast API. It can be any name that's available. So this needs to be a unique name. I'm just gonna call it a Fast API app, which is already, oh, Fast API app is available. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh no, it, it added like a random thing here. No problem. So the stack is gonna be Python 3.11 that I have in my system. And there is no option for Windows in Python. I think it's all Linux. Uh, the region close to me, it should be East or Southeast, about the same thing, <clears throat> about the same thing. So the plan is this one, just a random name. Uh, and then I'm just gonna get the basic. So I think I've got everything, just review and create. I'm just putting everything default for this example. It's validating, looks like it's fine. Let's create, it should take one minute or so. Let's wait. It's created. I think it was in less than a minute. Just go to resource. So an important thing for the fast API is to have a startup script. So you need to set up in configuration. You go settings, configuration. So can you see that there is startup command? So provide an optional startup command that will run as part of a container startup. So it's not container like in Docker, but anyway, in this case for fast API, you need to provide one. You can see on the documentation. What the documentation says for Python, it says in the startup command, place either a full text 
of your startup command or name of your startup command file. In our case, I'm going to just put the production one, which is fast API run. And then save. So once that one is saved, you go back to your repository and create a file called startup.sh and then do the same thing. Now, all right, now open your git, create a new repository, first API web app, demo. Now add the remote. And after that, I'll push. Yeah, there's a bit of a pie cache here. Yeah, it's all committed. So now on your fast API web app, you go to deployment tools. No, not deployment tools. You go to deployment center, deployment, deployment center. And then you're going to link up your web app to your GitHub. So the way you do it, you have to connect or authenticate your account. But before that, there is one more thing I need to do. Uh, I'm gonna go to settings, configuration, and put SCMBisk alt publish to on, save, continue. Good, you've got a green tick. Now go back to Deployment, Deployment Center. There are various ways to deploy the app, but in my case, I'm going to do GitHub. I'm already authenticated that the repository is. I'm going to get the repository, which is fast API web. It should be here. That's the one. I'm just going to put the master branch and I'm using basic authentication and that's going to create a file that's going to be added to my GitHub Actions automatically. So once I save, that's going to create a commit. What's happening? Maybe it's going to, yeah, that's, there's a commit here. If I go to my GitHub, there is an action that just started here. There are two steps, one step which is build the zip file, which is very quickly, and the second step is deploy. Let's go back and watch the logs. Just gonna refresh this. Let's switch back and forth between those two to see what's happening. So now you're doing the one deploy initiated. Let's refresh if there is any other step. Yeah, there is a deploy here. Let's have a look at the logs. So it's running this Rx build. Let's check again. Let's wait this one to finish. It should take a few minutes. So far, so now it's running a pip install. We can also see monitoring there are some log stream here let's have a look so these are the logs for the app so it looks like it's building so now it's installing all the packages like the fast api it's still doing it let's check here um Looks like it's been deployed, success. Let's watch the final logs. I think it should like trigger the startup file. Yeah, looks like it's almost there. 
think it's learning the getting the CA certificates. And then it's running the fast API, run API main. Also, it's writing a script into their startup. Now it looks like the app is running. So let's have a look at the overview. And there is the default domain. Click here. And there we go. The app is available. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, put on the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like the video and see you next time. Thank you.